guys, I have a big announcement to make. First, we had Puzzles on Puzzles. Then we had Gradient Cascade. Well, today, there is a new one. It is Colors on Colors, the third puzzle in the Karen Puzzles puzzle series. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. And I wanna say thank you to Ravensburger for sponsoring today's very exciting announcement video. Now, I know <laughs> that a lot of you in Europe have already had this for like a month now, but I wanted to wait to make this video until it was available here in the US, and now it is. You can get it directly on the Ravensburger website and at Barnes & Noble and on Amazon. But let's rewind and I'm gonna show you exactly how this came about. So let's cast our minds back to March of 2022. That is two years ago. I had sent a bunch of test images to Ravensburger back when we were designing this first puzzle. And this was one of them, which is similar, but if you look closely, it's not exactly the same as the final puzzle. So that image was actually the runner up for the 3000 piece puzzle, but I felt really strongly that I wanted all of these extra things in the image to make it feel more personal to me since this is the first puzzle I released. But the people at Ravensburger loved that other image. So, okay, we release both of these puzzles and then it comes time to finalize the third one. And we heard you, we knew that all of you wanted another 1000 piece puzzle, not another uh, giant puzzle. <laughs> as much as I love the giant puzzles. <laughs> so instead of printing this exact image, but as a thousand piece puzzle, we decided to go back to that first concept. So it's June of 2023. And as you can see, <laughs> my table was taken up by the Zodiac puzzle. So what did I do? I literally just put another piece of foam board right on top. Okay, I've been following along with my original photo, basically just getting these kind of in order. Um, I think that's looking really cool. <laughs> Okay, I think that's looking um, pretty good. I'm gonna go grab my real camera and do a few test shots, send them over to Ravensburger and make sure that the, uh, the quality is good enough for the thousand piece puzzles. Although looking at it on camera, I'm seeing a little 
hole right here. So I think I'm going to grab one more little pink piece. How about, how about this one? Yeah, that's better. So, okay, I sent in those test images and it turns out my camera isn't quite high quality enough for the Ravensburger print standards. So I called up my friend Jim. He has a nicer camera than I do and he is very tall. So he can just get right over that puzzle. And she wanted um, one note that I got is to have a little more of this dark purple than this light. So if you can make sure you're getting like basically right to the edge here. Yeah, you could probably zoom in a little bit more because like everything over here, we definitely want to use. So I had this idea to, like so far, I've been using just the big 5,000 piece gradient and then the crypt puzzle. Okay. But I had this idea to pull in some of the pieces from my second puzzle. I was like, I don't know if it'll really go with the color scheme. They're a little bit brighter, but I thought it might be just a fun variation mm -hmm. Easter egg if I decide to go with it. <laughs> I might just post that on Instagram. <laughs> it's so funny that I'm just kind of arbitrarily placing them, but whichever one we go with, like that's how it's gonna look forever. Mm -hmm. So many people are gonna be staring at it, like staring at each placement. <laughs> So, okay, we just went back and forth all afternoon of taking dozens of photos, looking at them on the computer, making adjustments, taking even more photos. So I got all of the photos from Jim, and then I worked with Ravensburger to figure out our favorite photo, and then also the cropping for the Ravensburger print guidelines. And then, I went in and I photoshopped out every single speck of dust off of this image. Theoretically, this is something that we probably could have paid someone else to do, but it's my puzzle. We shot it in my living room. I just wanted full control over the entire image. And I'm looking at it now and like, I think I did a pretty good job. It's like, wait, is that dust? Hang on, is it on this one? No, it's just on the box. Okay. Yeah, I didn't miss one. <laughs> if you see any dust in the image, just do not tell me. <laughs> I don't wanna know. So, okay, once it was finalized around like mid July, I wanna say, we sent it off to the factory. Uh, Ravensburger also ran the box design by me. So I actually knew like months and months before any of you that Ravensburger was gonna be redesigning their boxes, but I kept that secret. I didn't tell a single person. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for that. <laughs> so <laughs> here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Uh. 
So let me explain to you guys why I still have this set up. So after we finalized the design, I wanted to take more like content of the actual setup, you know, the beginnings of transitions, that kind of thing. But it wasn't urgent, so it just kept getting pushed further and further down my to-do list. And so I moved this entire board from the table to the floor, to the table, to the floor, to the table, to the floor. <laughs> so for all of my videos that I shot out here in the living room for the past eight months, this puzzle has been just out of frame. <laughs> okay, we're moving the couch because we're setting up the, the air mattress. And look what was under the couch, one of my missing pieces. What? Oh no, I can't show that, hang on. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, so I'll just do it over here. So I still had all of this set up, and then a couple months ago, they told me that I'd be getting the actual finished puzzle in like late January. And by then, um, that was close enough that I was like, I might as well just leave it all together for when I have the actual puzzle here. So, okay, speaking of getting the puzzle, here is my first reaction when I unboxed it and I saw it for the very first time. Pop, Cascade, I have some really exciting news for you. We're introducing a new member of the Karen Puzzles family. Don't worry, I'll still love you exactly the same. Ooh, I see it, I see it. Hot off the presses from the factory in Germany. It's the third Karen Puzzles puzzle. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And oh, look, she looks just like you. They could be sisters. So I filmed that about two days before I left for Winter Carnival. And so I thought I would bring one along and give all of my friends a little sneak peek. Okay, so I brought something special to this puzzle house party and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show everyone and I think they're gonna like it. I, I hope they like it. <laughs> Okay, it is finally time for me to solve this for the very first time. But instead of using the box top as reference, I figured since I have it right here, why not use the real thing as reference? <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at how cool this looks already. It's sort of like a rainbow gradient puzzle, but you have this added texture from the puzzle pieces. Oh, that looks so cool. It doesn't make it difficult. It just makes it like interesting to look at. I love that. So what's my strategy? I think, okay, let's take a look. I think I will do a full color sort ahead of time. And what I did with this design that's a little different from the 3000 piece puzzle is the colors on top pretty much follow um, the color wheel as well. So I don't have like pink ones in the middle here. Okay, this is gonna be so satisfying. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs>
All right, so without trying to rush through it at all, just doing it at a nice even pace, the sorting took me 22 minutes. Look at how beautiful that looks. There is nothing like a rainbow puzzle. Oh, it's the best kind of puzzle. But here's the thing about the sorting. Um, when I designed this, I, I had the rainbow basically wrap around. So in the original 5,000 colors puzzle, the greens are on the outside and that's where it wraps around. For this one, I put the purples on the outside. So I sorted all of the purples together even though they're going to be the two edges. So I kind of feel like I should start in the middle and then work my way out instead of trying to separate all of this right up front. Oh man, I am having so much fun. It is so hard to make myself stop and give you all updates. <laughs> so I'm up to 54.27 and I have this entire like yellow and green section done. So now the question is, do I work towards the blues or do I work towards the oranges? I think what I'm gonna do is work this way, out towards the blues, try to get this entire section done. Then I can move the purples back over to this side and then finish off that. I definitely think it's just gonna keep getting easier as I have more and more sections to work off of. Once I got the first big chunk in place, I definitely felt like it was going a lot faster. But this is such a good difficulty level. It's like challenging, but the color difference makes it not too challenging. So it's like a gradient puzzle, but with a little extra. <laughs> All right, I'm an hour and a half into it. I have about half of the puzzle done, but it should go a lot faster as I have fewer and fewer pieces. And also, now that I know that all of these purple pieces are the ones that go over here <laughs> on this side of the puzzle. Oh my God, I was just over here working on some of these light colored pieces and I was like, I feel like I'm missing some, like where are they? I completely forgot. I still had all of these pieces over here. <laughs> these are all the pieces I was looking for.
did it! I solved my own puzzle. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, I can't wait to do it again. So that took me two hours, 32 minutes, and 42 seconds. Definitely on the faster side for a thousand piece puzzle, but I wasn't really trying to do it for speed. You know, I was stopping to give you guys updates and I like didn't even look at the box. So I don't usually do thousand piece puzzles as individual speed runs. I usually just do 500s, but I think this is a great candidate for it. It's not going to be too hard. I want to see if I can drop my time to under two hours. Oh man, that felt so much harder to do this time, like all in one go and trying to do it fast. So I haven't looked at my time yet. We're all gonna find out together. Oh my God, I did it! <laughs> just barely, I just barely beat two hours. That might be one of my fastest ever times for a thousand piece puzzle. <laughs> So, okay, I have just a few more things that I wanted to show you guys. First, the final image that we went with does indeed include a couple pieces from the Gradient Cascade puzzle. So if you're looking for this piece in the um, Gradient Crypt puzzle, you're not gonna find it. 
but I did bring down the saturation just a little in the final image. So uh, there's another one up there that's just a little Easter egg for those of you watching this video. I also love how you can see a really subtle gradient on some of these crypt pieces like, uh, like this one. Look at that. I think that is so pretty. I love that that came through in the final puzzle. And finally, with the box redesign, you might notice that my face is not on the front anymore, but don't worry, it is still here on the side. So if you have this on your shelf facing out, you can just have me staring at you literally all the time. So as I said at the beginning of this video, you can get this puzzle on Ravensburger's website and it is also available on Barnes and Noble and Amazon. And I'm gonna have all of those links right down below. And if you're outside the US, you can check wherever you normally buy Ravensburger puzzles. I know that a lot of you in Europe already have this and have already solved it, but we're finally catching up to you. Now, I know that the next question is going to be, will there be a fourth Karen Puzzles puzzle? And the answer is probably, but it's probably going to be something completely different. This is most likely the end of this Puzzles of Puzzles series but I'm so proud of all of these puzzles and I'm so thankful to Ravensburger for giving me the opportunity to design my perfect puzzles. So of course, thank you to the playgroup for letting us once again photograph their puzzle. And thank you to Ravensburger for sponsoring this video. So let me know down in the comments if you're going to get one and what color you would start with. Are you gonna do what I did and start in the middle or are you gonna do advanced mode and start with the edges and work in with those purples at the same time? And I just realized if you get the 5,000 colors puzzle, the gradient crypt puzzle and gradient cascade, you can recreate this entire scene at home. And I mean, if you also get the Zodiac puzzle and a really tall friend, you can recreate the entire making of this puzzle image. <laughs> That's your challenge to take away from this video. In addition to solving the actual puzzle, if any of you actually recreate this, like, you will be my hero. I will be obsessed with you. So, okay, your code word for the comments will be colors. And thank you so much for watching. Like, it is because of all of you that these puzzles exist in the world. So, thank you so much.